Today, I'm here with Teresa Welch of North Chesterfield, who is host of a very special event called the Ride on Cannon Memorial Event, coming up on September 26th. Hi, Teresa. Hi, thanks for having me. Thank you for being with me. So the ride and the recreation is to honor Cannon Blake Kennant, a five-year-old young boy who was killed while riding his bike in Wilson, North Carolina. And in his honor, you've organized a very special event, not about race or political affiliation, but really to celebrate children. Tell us more about your inspiration for organizing. Well, my inspiration really came from a, a lot of the violence that's been going on in children being taken away too soon. And I wanted a place that families can come and kind of get the community get together. There's so much division going on right now. And I just wanted to bring families together, kids together and let them be kids, something that he was doing, you know, at the time that he was taken away from us. Well, that is just so noble, especially at a time where we're all hugging our loved ones a little bit tighter for so many different reasons. And it's, it's so important. So we're going to be having a good old time out on September 26. Tell us about the event and all that people will have to enjoy. Well, when they come into the event, all kids are going to be given a raffle ticket and they are going to get a chance to win a brand new bike. Um, right now, I probably have about 30 bikes. I'm looking at about 14 bikes in my living room right now. And then um, I had a couple of friends came and picked up a whole bunch of bikes that are in boxes and they are assembling them. I don't think they knew what they were getting themselves into when they volunteered for that task. So every child is going to be given the opportunity to win a bike. And we're talking from, you know, um, a year old all the way up to 13, 14 years old. So families with children of all ages can come out, take advantage of the event. Now there's going to be, in addition to the bike raffle, lots of things to do at the park. Tell us about that. So we're going to have four bands, um, possibly five. So we're going to have live music. I suggest you bring your chairs so you have a comfortable place to sit. We're going to be giving away free cotton candy and popcorn and snow cones. Uh, we're going to have of course, like drinks, water, and kids' drinks, those are all going to be free. Really, the only thing that the family is going to have to pay for is from one of our food vendors, or if they want to buy something from a regular vendor selling jewelry or homemade goods, even, even masks, things like that. Many organizations have partnered together with you to make this happen and to make it available at uh, the complimentary cost that it is. Tell us about those partnerships. Well, we've gotten people from all over the county and the Richmond Metro area, Dominion Aviation being one, Sibley's Barbecue, O'Charlie's has been great, Jiffy Lube, Flagstop, oh my gosh. I mean, and then the countless number of people in the Facebook group that have donated bicycles and waters, but the list is so long. I could sit here and take up your whole time with me talking about who all has been involved in this. It's really been wonderful to see the community come together to celebrate children. For those who might still want to be part of this incredible event, how can they get involved or what support are you still looking for? Sure, we can definitely use more bikes. Uh, that's always a given. And there's three ways that they can get them to me. Um, and I'll give you that information and you can let the viewers know um, how they can get that to me. Um, Water is always a good one. Um, can't have enough water, need people hydrated. And uh, really just to come out. And, and, and that's the biggest thing. I just want everybody to come out and just enjoy the day. It's September 26th. Where do we go? What time? Give us all the details. All right, so it's Harry G. Daniel Park. It's across the street from the Chesterfield County Airport off Iron Bridge. It shelters four and five. And it's going to be from 11 to 6. So you have plenty of time to get down there. If you can't come in the morning, you come in the afternoon. Uh, so it's plenty of time to get down there and enjoy. All the freebies won't be given away. I'm going to sporadically put them out um, during different times. So that way everybody can come in and possibly get a free um, sticker for their car or a free button. Um, and then, of course, the bicycles are going to be given away sporadically throughout the day, as well as the raffles. Um, that we have in place. 
Perfect. Well, we are so excited to hear more. Congratulations on being able to put together something so wonderful for so many families, especially at a time where, you know, there maybe aren't as many events happening or not opportunities to win a bike. Uh, it's so exciting to go into the September months knowing that you've got a new ride. So we That's appreciate right. everything that you've done. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. For those of you interested in learning more about the Ride On Cannon Memorial event, we invite you to go to our website at wtvr.com slash VTM. The Ride On Cannon event is scheduled for September 26th from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the Harry G. Daniel Park, 6600 White Pine Road in Chesterfield. The rain date is October 3rd. Wow. Another that's a one. really, I, I, yeah, that's I'm really fantastic. I'm blown away by our guests today. I mean, it's just amazing the people we get to meet and um, something as tragic as the loss of a child turns into this kind of organically grown, amazing, wonderful, heartfelt thing. I mean, it's just, uh, that was, I'm blown away today. We should take this one, folks. We'll run it again. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Definitely plenty to be lifted up by today. And just, you're right, Bill, the opportunity, it, folks ask, what is it you love so much about what you do? And it really is being able to help share the stories that we share and then to be inspired by the friends that we have on the show. So it's yeah. our pleasure. And if you weren't inspired by these last two stories, you call your doctor because you need to check up. <laughs> check in with us. Virginia This Morning returns after a quick break.